Hey guys, what's going on? It's Grizzly here. Welcome back to the Cube Collective. We're on episode 32. Um, so today, a long time ago, like a month ago maybe, I told Tridar I would get him new stone. I was basically, that was pretty much right when the first, when like the first snapshot with the new stone came in. Uh, episode 26 maybe, just after that I talked to him for his castle and stuff. So I've delivered most of it, but today I want to grab all the, we're going to go out to that area where we were, and we're going to, if we go in here, where do I keep my emeralds? There we go. So we have those emeralds, we also have a book somewhere. Not I can make one out there, but I, I, I have one somewhere. So yeah, there's a there it is. Okay, so basically what I have agreed to with Tridar was one small chest for all the new stone for some amount of diamonds. I don't know which ones. I don't know how much. I can't quite remember. Because I also got a couple diamonds from him uh, for the spawn plot, and that's, I believe, what the f 17 was in my chest uh, at my shop. It might not have been, though. I, I sent him a message, so that'll be solved. But there's still a little bit of the diorite, I believe, the w light white stone. Uh, that I have to bring back that was just too much to carry for Bonnie and me. So if you guys have watched b -Ran's videos, um, you guys will know this is b -Ran's donkey, Bonnie. Uh, I just, I asked him a little bit ago, I said, hey, uh, do you mind if I borrowed Bonnie? I need to uh, transport a lot of stone. I said, yeah, sure. So I brought most of it back the first time, but there is... Oh, oh, oh! <gasps> that might. Oh my goodness, it's working! Stay back here, Bonnie. Thank you. Kind of working. Wait, um, actually, we're not gonna bring Bonnie back. Um,. She is a pain to maneuver through the trees that are on the way. So we're going to walk there. I'm going to talk a little bit. I have a topic to kind of talk about. And then we're going to bring back the rest of the stone. It should all fit in my inventory here. And then we will come back here. And that might be the end of the episode. Because we're going to do a couple things over in the new area. In our villager haven area. Okay, so one thing I wanted to talk about. Before we get on with anything, actually this is the main topic, um, on episode 31, last one, uh, some fella, I'm unaware of the name at the moment, it's drawing a blank, but made a comment and he said, why do you never make, make new uh, ideas now, you just use like regurgitated ideas basically is what he was saying. Um, like with the, he said with the, uh, all, like the bakery, the G-Mart, uh, the super house, um, they're all, they've all been used before. And so I kind of responded, I said, well, I use YouTube and stuff as inspiration, so a lot of stuff's going to rub off on me. Um, my point with the, um... Uh, cave cookies was I didn't even I watched that B team video so long ago must have planted an idea in my head that I that I should make it and then a lot of it was just people on the server liked cake I asked them I said do you like cake they said yes I like cake so that kind of built up that and then G Mart uh, which he said was similar to E Mart which was Ethos, um, 
general store. I do not like how these this area does not load when I'm recording. Uh, we're just gonna stand here for a sec. And I said, well, yeah, I know it's similar, um, but that again, how how much creativity how much creativity can you put in a a general store? Like, there's there's not much room for a uh, like a creative side. Um, sure, there is some. Um, which I just kind of tried to incorporate my own building kind of way and just kind of a way to, to buy it and stuff. But, I mean, he did have a point. Uh, and then he said the super house is just like Zisto's. And I said, well, I ever since I saw uh, the lens, I've wanted to build a floating house. And I started watching his new or... Um, his new Minecraft series and his new floating house, his new super house, I can't quite remember what he's calling it, um, but that I really liked. And so, and it actually wasn't initially my idea. I was going to move to the a savanna and build something, just build a nice big house there. And I was talking to effects about it and he said, why not build a super house? And I had no idea what a super house was so I mean YouTube must have rubbed off on him a bit uh, with the styles that people use and that kind of stuff but I mean it's not like it's like you can't say you're using his ideas because like sure the sure the base idea might be theirs but I mean, everyone puts their own spin on it. Um, so I just kind of wanted to bring that up to talk about. I I do kind of realize that a lot of my stuff is um, regurgitated, but it is very difficult for me, at least, to find stuff that hasn't already been used. I guess would be the correct term. Um, yeah, it's it's just kind of like a. Like almost everything that would be worth building kind of thing, I guess you could say, has already been done. No matter what you look at, really, um, a lot of it's already been completed. Um, but I'm going to try now, try a little harder now to come up with my own ideas. Um, and also for you guys to help me out uh, on our idea, on my, on stuff I could build. So that's kind of what this villager haven is, is kind of like something different that not a lot of people do. A villager area that we can breed villagers, all of that kind of stuff. Eventually, I will be uh, making a breeding system there. Uh, but that's in the future still. I don't have enough, or I'm not even sure how to build, how to build a correct breeding system in the snapshot so I'm gonna wait until 1.8 I believe is released and then I will definitely get on that a bit more uh, so next uh, there's really nothing next I'm just gonna I guess I can talk a little bit just uh, so as of now Goat Simulator episode 1 and bonus episode 1 are up on my channel uh, now I made a deal with you guys that I'd have five or so real episodes, like episode one, episode two, three, four, five. Um, but then I said if you guys get the number of likes that's going to be on each video, there'll be a bonus episode coming out. And they'll be allowed at least one bonus episode per video. So potentially allowed two videos, or ten Goat Simulator videos, which I think is enough. Um, it's kind of a game that kind of just, like, it, it's awesome it's hilarious it's funny it's a great game like it's really comedic um, but I mean for the purposes of YouTube and content it's all it, once you kinda do it, it you can't really do it again like Minecraft you can go ahead and do a like a whole bunch of different stuff um, so yeah, there's gonna be about five episodes or ten episodes max on that, depending on what you guys like. If you guys like it, then 
like it and you guys get more. Uh, one, I just remembered um, another point that the fellow made who left that comment was about my series I said I was going to be beginning, going to be starting, and it was kind of based off of Paul Sorrow's Man vs. Wild. Um, that is still going to happen. Um, waiting on a couple things. Um, uh, I asked Biran to make me a thumbnail. Great guy he is. He's going to be making me one. He's just a little busy, so I don't rush or anything, right? Like, doesn't need to come out right away. So, whenever he's done that, I have to do a couple more things still with the, the videos and stuff. And then that'll be released. But that's not trying to copy Paul Soros at all. Uh, I love his Man vs. Wild series. Or Man vs. Minecraft series, sorry. That's based off of Man vs. Wild. But, I mean, it's... Again, it's so difficult if you like that idea to go ahead and m put your own spin on. I did the best I could. Um, it's kind of it's a role playing series. I'm basically a, uh, a I'm basically a bear woke up from hibernation. Whole landscape has changed. No one that I know. I can't. I don't know anyone there. Like. I don't see anyone, any of my family or anything, and there I begin a journey to find them. That's basically the spin I could put on it. Oh. Uh, one sec. Sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, that's what that is. Uh, I'm going to get back to you guys once I, once I reach this um, area, which I'm pretty close, but I just, I, I don't really have any more topics to cover. So, um, I'll see you guys in a second. Okay guys, so I made it here, and I found the librarian that the trade I want to do is with. It's one book, six emeralds, for a silk touch one. Go ahead and put that in there. We now have a silk touch book. That's awesome. Um, a lot of these other guys have, like that's a little expensive in my opinion. Oh, oh. Oh, that's a bad trade, buddy. You're only good for your emerald or for your silk touch. I'm sorry. <laughs> so this is how much more diorite I have to bring back. Um, but I don't actually believe I don't. I I had more at my base than I needed, so there's only a little bit more I have to bring back. But we're gonna do a little bit of an exploration. I think It'll be cool. I'm going to cut for a little bit though for sure. I'm going to go I'm going to get prepared to go travel and find somewhere that I want to go like which direction. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I changed my mind. Uh we're going to go caving instead. Um There's a cave in this direction. Pretty sure there is at least. Um it's not going to be that much longer the episode. Um, it is kind of short, um, but I just kind of wanted to talk. More of a talking one. Um, next episode we might cave, or we might, I don't know, do something. Something, something, something. You guys can leave in the comments what you want me to do, and then I can see if I can do that for next episode. So... Where's a cave? Cave, 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 cave. Just slime over here. Oh. Maybe? Nope. Dang it. Jeepers, it's almost night. Okay, let's go right here. Kind of want to get in before night falls entirely, so... Oh, hello. I hear a skeleton, too. Right there is. Okay. Ooh, ooh, enchanted bow. And arrow. Power two and bring two punch one. That's pretty good. 
skeleton bow drop. Let's get over here. Oh, some iron. I think eventually I want to try a, an ABBA rules with someone on the server, but as you can see, I'm the only one on. Hmm. No, nothing over there. You guys might be hearing so sorry if you guys are. I'm kinda going quiet just to try to Oh oh abandoned mine shaft. That's good. I'm running low on torches already though. That's not very good. No, nothing over there. Oh, maybe bad oh Oh. That could be interesting. Let's see if we can find our way over there, maybe. By staying, it's kind of this direction was where the water was, so. Oh, I'd only bring six wood. Okay, let's get some coals or some more torches eventually. I'm not sure if I want to make my silk touch a diamond pick or uh, just an iron. Iron would definitely be easier to repair, but then again, diamond lasts longer, so less repairing. Let's. I might do it just iron. Um. Yeah, I think I'll go just an iron. Oh, 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 mob spawner. Cave, cave spiders. Hate those things. Oh, thank you. Let's get some more iron. I've done a caving episode. I don't even know if I've done one. I don't know if you guys like them or not. I I don't know if I've ever done them. Okay, so there's nothing this way. Uh, I don't like when stuff ends like that. It sucks. Let's go this way now. Nothing still. Wow. This is horrible. You gotta be kidding me. There's nothing but iron and coal. That's weird. Thought I would have maybe seen gold or something. So I guess. Oh, oh this direction maybe. Oh, we got that cave. Okay, please give me diamonds. Saddles. Not bad, but I don't need saddles right now, but I guess to have now. There's a lot of iron here, though. A lot, a lot, a lot. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm actually going to end it here, guys. Um, not that into it right now. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later.